you will have to become someone you've never been before. You want to go somewhere you've never gone? You got to do something you've never done. You got to say something you've never said. You got to go to a place in you that you've never even been. You get to redesign. You are your Michelangelo. You are your greatest sculpture. And you get to recarve and you get to up level as much as you need. You're not sentenced to this life this way. You chose it. You get to choose as much as you want. You get to design it any way you choose. You're not sentenced to your future. You have an opportunity to your future. What do you want and how do you want it? And if it doesn't make you a little afraid, then you ain't playing big enough. Your knees are supposed to knock a little bit. Your teeth are supposed to chatter a little bit. There's supposed to be at least two butterflies in your stomach. At least. Because if not, you're playing inside your comfort zone. And we mistake the fact that we're supposed to be comfortable 24-7. Well, let me tell you something. Comfortable is equivalent to complacent. I'll choose inconvenience every day, any day, to make a difference on the planet. I don't mind being mildly to moderately to significantly inconvenienced to leave my fingerprint on this planet. So I just came to talk to the game changers and to the change agents who are willing to confront any part of you that's not speaking to your madly, wildly amazing future. Breathe, own it, own it. Ask yourself, what's my dream? What's my dream? I came to challenge you to play in the biggest field you've ever played in. I came for you to challenge the fear that might be inside of you and to redesign and reprogram it. You look at it long enough, you be with it intimately enough, and it has to dissipate. You are the designer of your destiny. You are the author of your autobiography. You write the story of your life. No one can write your financial story. No one can write your spiritual story. No one can write your emotional story but you. The pen has always been in your hand. The pen has always been in your hand. I say write a story that's gonna be damn good to read. And ask yourself, what's my dream? What are you willing to do that you've never done before? What are you willing to say that you've never said before? Are you willing? Are you willing to do that thing you've never done before? Are you willing to stand at the edge of your own greatness? Are you willing to look at your fears? Are you willing to recognize that you can be afraid? Are you willing to look at the fact that there is always healing to come? There's always growth to come. There's no arrival. Are you willing? And then in the space of that, are you still willing to lean to the edge? Feel the breeze of possibility, not knowing if you will fly or fall. Are you willing? Are you willing to not quite know what's there, but that something is there is greater than you? Are you willing to say, my life has to make a huge difference? You've heard
heard me say this before, that there's a birthday and a transition day, and in between that is all the opportunity in the world. That's that dash, that dash that says, are you willing to disrupt my life? You're not here. You're not put here to leave my life calm. You're here to be a disruption for my life. You're here to cause me to want to be someone I've never been, do something I've never done because you crossed my path. Are you willing to show me that way? It's going to cost you more time than you thought you'd have. It's going to cost you way more money than you thought you would invest. It's going to cost you some friends who couldn't make the entire journey with you. It's going to cost you that, that sense of, oh my God, I got to leave. I got to die to the old me to allow the new me to be born to my future. It's going to cost you something. This is the year for reset. This is the year for restart. This is the year for reignite. This is the year for repeat the things that you love. This is the year for recommit. This is the year for redesign. This is the year for re-engage. This is the year for restart. This is that year. I stopped by to ignite your fire. I stopped by to have you confront fear. I stopped by to have you look at what it's cost you and to make a bold declaration the next time it rises up, you rise up a little bit higher than it. I stop by for you to no longer make fear. your enemy. Make fear your fuel. I stop by to redefine fear. To redefine it. Because fear is an emotion like any other emotion. Fear is an emotion like love, like compassion. Fear is an emotion. We just gave it more power. Mm. We just gave it more power. Compassion, oh, that's nice. Fear, ooh. We made, we gave it a meaning. And some of you know you've heard this before, that fear is false evidence appearing real. Now it's time to literally biohack the impact that fear has had on you. That fear no longer becomes your fortress, fear becomes your fuel. Fear is that thing that pushes you forward. Fear is the thing that reminds you, oh, I need to go get more information. Oh, fear will keep you up at night. Fear will take you to a coach or a mentor. Fear will cause you to eat a slice of humble pie. Repeat after me. I am ready for my next best season. Because I know that I am the author of my autobiography. I am the designer of my own destiny. I am writing my life story. And I'm writing a life story that I'm going to love reading and others will be inspired by. On one page, they'll read my fear. And on the next page, they'll know I did it anyway. I commit to hold fear in one hand and passion in the other and leap. And leap. And leap. And leap. And leap. Every time. Every time. Every time. I ask, I ask that each.
each of you, each of you hold, me hold me accountable to my contribution on this planet. Turn to someone and say, don't let me off the hook. Thank you.